it's definitely gotten worse so that we are seeing many more kids uh, who've accessed THC products, particularly edibles. Dr. Sean Yin says cases of kids accidentally eating gummies laced with THC are becoming far too common. He points to the packaging of many of these kinds of products. They're filled with colorful logos in cartoons. They will look very similar to um, products such as candy or, or other things. Cincinnati Children's says the calls into the Poison Center for young kids eating something with THC or marijuana have spiked. The number of calls for kids from newborn to five years old jumped from 92 in 2020 to 246 last year. It's definitely frustrating because for young children, I mean, we're talking one to three year olds, they are innocent, right? They they don't really, um, they don't know what's happening. They don't know that it, they, they shouldn't be doing this. Yin says those cases involving young kids are dangerous. Children are more susceptible uh, to the more serious effects because they're smaller, and so they don't need as much to, to do those same harmful effects. Yin tells parents to keep a close eye on the packaging and labels on these products. You know, at this point, it's probably wise to be a little bit leery about, uh, you know, candies and other things that other people are bringing in um, into school. Now, the YMCA wouldn't tell us the condition of those four kids that were sent home from the program, but they did tell us that the ch one child in that program and the family that they say brought the, uh, the candy to the program, they are no longer within that YMCA program. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.